Hey, welcome to day 18. We're getting close. We're getting real close. Uh, I'm getting this to you a little bit late today, and I really do appreciate your patience. Uh, it's been a long day for us. Um, my daughter has a, a pretty rare genetic mutation uh, called retinoblastoma, and it's a, a tumor and cancer-causing uh, mutation. And um, she's she's been out of treatment for a while, but we have, um, or yeah, mostly, mostly a while, but, um, we have these like quarterly eye exams that we have to do just kind of check and make sure that nothing's, uh, growing again and whatnot. And she's been good for, um, well over a year now. So we're, uh, we're very grateful, but those take a really long time. Um, we're usually gone for, I don't know, like 10 hours. Um, the, uh, the best place for us is about, two and a half hours north of us. So it's a pretty, pretty long day for a, uh, for an eye exam. But anyway, I was just wanted to say that to, to tell you where I'm at today, why we're a little bit late. And also, um, you know, if you're going through some health stuff, I'm totally on your side. I know how debilitating that can be, um, at times. And, um, my heart goes out to you and I wish you the best. Um, we've been going through this for like five ish years now. And, um, you know, at times it's tough, but you know, we're, we're really pressing on and pressing in and, um, yeah. So, um, the best to you, if you, uh, if you want to talk about it, I'm here for you anytime now into the code. Uh, so today, first things first, it is the 18th. I keep forgetting to do that for whatever reason. Um, 18th. Now I want to show you something really cool. Here's the problem. When we tap on these the images can load kind of slowly. So that one was, that was one of them. Um, and it really affects the whole layout of the page. Um, now this isn't something that's new to react. This is just, this is the, this is just the browser. Um, so we're adding this element. It's making a request to get that image. And that image is taking a little bit of time to get back to us. React carries on and renders the rest of the data that we have. Um, and then that image will flash in once it finally loads. Now, this kind of sucks. This isn't ideal. And um, React now gives us a really cool way of, of managing that. So I wanted to show you the problem first. And uh, now we're going to look at the possible solutions. So one thing that I'd said earlier is, is that you can suspend around anything that is that you can put wrap a promise around. Now, one of those things is the resolution of an image. Um, now, I'm not fully 100% sure how this code works, so I'm gonna copy and paste it myself, um, but it does work and you can use it without understanding really how it works either. So, um, I think we have visited this before. If we have not, uh, this is your first time, great. Um, the Facebook React project has a bunch of fixtures inside of it. I spat there. Um, I'm just so excited. Uh, it has fixtures inside of it. Um, and uh, if you go into those fixtures, you can see different things that are um, used as test cases for React features. Now, if we go into unstable async and suspense, um, we can go into this source components and in this user page component, there is a, a little resource. Let me see if I can find it now. I had it. Okay. There's a little resource. It starts here and there's a component that uses it. So it's an image resource. Okay. Anything that you can wrap a promise around, you can keep in a resource. Um, and so it, it does kind of what we've been doing, which is um, unstable uh, create react. Uh, we've aliased it. So it's just create react or create resource. And, um, so it takes a source, it creates a new promise and we have a resolve function. Okay. It's going to create an image variable, create a new image. Um, and this is like a, like a Dom image. Uh, and then on load, it's going to provide a function that gets called and it resolves with the source. And then that we set the image source to source. 
Okay. Again, I not totally sure, like, but I can kind of read through generally what it does. Now, here's the magic. We create a new component that isn't just the lowercase image tag, but our own. It's a component. So we're going to use a, a, an uppercase I. Okay. And then we're going to take the source, the alt, all, all that stuff, and um, and return a regular DOM image tag. But for the source, what we do is we do this resource read. We're using this resource here instead of just applying the source directly. Everything else is the same, no problem. Got it? So I wanna show you what that does. Now, maybe you don't fully understand it. I don't really fully understand it either, but what it does is it opts these images into um, suspense so that we can uh, suspend the rendering of view until an image comes back. That's the, that's the idea. So we got this detail. I'm just going to copy and paste what we found. Okay, so image resource unstable create root. Um, again, we are aliasing this up here. So unstable create root as oh, I keep saying that unstable create resource as create resource. Um, so we're going to use that again. Copy and paste of the code, and uh, we're going to create this new image resource. And uh, let's see what we get. Um, okay, so what we need to do is we need to find our image which is here, and we're gonna change that to the component version, which has the uppercase I, because our our defined components need to have the uppercase letter. It's gonna to resolve to a regular image, but using that resource. So uh, we will um, save that, give ourselves a little bit more room, and what you can expect to see is that as I click these, it's going to show that fallback until the image resolves. What that means is that you'll never see the image come in after and disrupt the flow of the page. It will wait until we have that image with the data and um, present it all at the same time. Um, this is really amazing because it makes this view very stable. And I don't mind waiting that extra couple milliseconds to, um, to have the full view. We've all been on pages where it's like, I mean, it's kind of a joke at this point where basically stuff comes in and then you try to click on something and then something inserts itself right there, reflows the whole page. It's a disaster. So this is really awesome. It makes your pages feel a lot more stable. Um, and yeah, it's great. So that's it for today. It's, um, it's pretty simple. Um, I definitely suggest taking a look at this and trying to understand it as best you can um, because there are a ton of places where you can do stuff like this. So like with script tags, uh, my friend Jared Palmer has a library. I think it is called the platform. Um, let's see, yeah. Palmer HQ slash the platform. And he has created a bunch of components that you can load in this same way. So image, script, video, audio, preload, style sheet, etc. So all of those are in this package called the platform. Um, I definitely suggest trying to write your own. So think of a use case that you have, um, you know, maybe Stripe. You want to have all of that um, JavaScript load and know that it loaded before you can present the pay with Stripe button or whatever. There's plenty of things that you can um, use this for. Uh, so give it a try. Um, maybe just try writing it on your own, um, just the image one. Uh, this is a very useful practice and I think we'll start seeing more and more of this. So thanks for hanging in there. We only got a few days left. I know you can make it. I'll see you tomorrow.